And welcome back to Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. The Bitcoin ETF craze continues. ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, BITO, is less than a week old, already has north of $1 billion in assets. Let's talk with Steve McClurg. He's the CIO of Valkyrie Funds, which on Friday launched the second Bitcoin futures ETF, the Valkyrie Bitcoin Strategy ETF. Steve, ProShares Bitcoin Futures has got over $1.1 billion in assets. What, four days of trading? You launch your Bitcoin Futures product on Friday. You're like Avis. You have to try harder now. How is this Valkyrie Bitcoin Futures ETF different than ProShares? And how do you compete with some of the other big names that I know are coming right down the road? Yeah, well, look, given the CME limits that uh, we currently have, uh, there's a lot of room for us and others to come into the space. Uh, You've already hit a, a bit against those limits, right, with uh, 4,000 contracts in October, which means that you have to keep rolling out to the uh, future months. So we're going to see others having more tracking error if they have to go to those other months. So I think what we do is we keep ours very tight. We stick with the front months and we show that we're tracking the, uh, uh, the futures really closely. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, your success is part of the problem. You know, the, the big complaint among the crypto community was that the futures contract would not track the underlying Bitcoin very well. So what is the scorecard on that? How is it tracking? And you clear up just you mentioned it. But what futures contracts are you owning right now? You don't just own the front month anymore. You own stuff farther out. Right. Just clear that up for us. Yeah, Valkyrie only owns the front month at the moment. We're, we're really trying to keep in the front month at all times. Uh, obviously, that's that's not going to be possible if uh, the CME doesn't raise their limits. Uh, but at the moment, October, there's a 4,000 contract limit, uh, which is approximately 630 million in notional. Uh, so we're under that at the moment. And then November and December are currently at 4,000, uh, which is about one and one point two billion dollars in notional at the moment. So we're, we're, we're trying to keep in that front month as, as, as much as possible. And in worst case, move out to the next month unless CME uh, increases its limit. OK, this is going to be an issue, of course, coming down the road. We'll talk about this. We're going to have much more on the Bitcoin and the state of ETFs coming up on ETF Edge. Steve's going to join us. Tom Leiden, CEO of ETF Trends, will join us. We'll give you more information on those position limits. Who's next? Find out on ETFedge.cnbc.com. 1 p.m. Eastern.